Visit us on onestepenglish.com. Practice day number four. Listening. Directions in listening section, you will hear monologues, dialogues, and academic talks. We are slowly destroying the earth. The seas and the rivers are too dirty to swim in. There is so much smoke in the air that is unhealthy to live in many of the world's cities. In one well-known city, for example, poisonous gases from cars pollute the air so much that traffic policemen have to wear oxygen masks. We have cut down so many trees that there are now vast areas of wasteland all over the world. As a result, farmers in parts of Africa cannot grow enough to eat. In certain countries in Asia there is too little rice. Moreover, we do not take enough care of the countryside. Wild animals are quickly disappearing. For instance, tigers are rare in India now because we have killed too many to survive. However, it is not enough simply to talk about the problem. We must act before it is too late to do anything about it. Number 1. Why did the traffic policemen wear oxygen masks? Letter A. Traffic policemen can't breathe without it. Letter B. The air was polluted caused by the cars. Letter C. They were required to wear masks. The correct answer is, letter B. The traffic policemen wore oxygen masks because the air was polluted caused by the cars. Number 2. Why do they need to kill the tigers? Letter A. To survive. Letter B. Because tigers are dangerous. Letter C. People are scared. The correct answer is, letter A. People need to kill tigers to survive. Number 3. What is the main idea of the lecture? Letter A. Wear masks all the time. Letter B. Free the animals because they have feelings too. Letter C. Earth is slowly dying, so we need to take good care of it. The correct answer is, letter C. Earth is slowly dying, so we need to take good care of it. Reading section. In this section, you will be required to read two passages on varying topics. After each passage, you will answer questions to test your ability to understand vocabulary, writer's point of view, factual information and sentence structures. Reading number one. Source, aptitudetestsforme.com. Number 1. Why did Laura become deaf? Letter A. Because of her illness. Letter B. Because her parents neglected her. Letter C. Because she was born like that. The correct answer is, letter A. Laura became deaf because of her illness. Number 2. What was the role of women in 1859? Letter A. Women stayed outside to work. Letter B. Most women were wives and mothers. Letter C. Women worked for her family to live. The correct answer is, letter B. In 1859, most women were wives and mothers. Number 3. Why did Laura decide to use the man's name to tell her stories? Letter A. So that she will not cause trouble to women. Letter B. So that men will know that women can do everything. Letter C. Because in 1859 women were powerful. The correct answer is, letter A. Laura decides to use a man's name to tell their stories so that she will not cause trouble to women.
Number 1. Why did Zeus order Prometheus to be chained to a rock? Letter A. He stole fire from Zeus. Letter B. Prometheus was a stubborn god. Letter C. Prometheus defeated Zeus on a battle. The correct answer is, letter A. Zeus ordered Prometheus to be chained to a rock because he stole fire. Number 2. What happened to Prometheus while he was chained to a rock? Letter A. He planned for a revenge. Letter B. Every day an eagle packed out his liver, and every night his liver grew again. Letter C. He escaped by the help of an eagle. The correct answer is, letter B. While Prometheus was chained to a rock, every day an eagle pecked out his liver, and every night his liver grew again. Number 3. What does Prometheus mean? Letter A. The hunter. Letter B. The forethinker. Letter C. The eagle. The correct answer is, letter B. Prometheus means, the forethinker. You've reached the mid part of the video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Vocab In this section, you will learn vocabulary words with its meanings and examples. In the test, there are 5 questions and you have 10 seconds to answer each question. Provoke Verb, to cause to happen, usually a bad reaction. Example If you provoke the dog, it will bite you. Tentative. Adjective, planned but not definite. Example. The teacher gave tentative grades to her students. Controversy. Noun, disagreement, typically one prolonged, public, and heated. Example. The controversy that they were facing made them sad. Readily. Adverb, without much difficulty or delay. Example. He readily answered my questions. Overwhelm. Verb, to become too much to handle. Example. I was overwhelmed when I saw the books they gave me. Let's have a quick test on vocab section. Number 1. James Blank greeted his father after returning from work. Letter A. Overwhelm. Letter B. Readily. Letter C. Tentative. The correct answer is, letter B. James readily greeted his father after returning from work. Number 2. We will make blank designs for our house this week. Adjective, planned but not definite. Letter A. Provoke. Letter B. Overwhelm. Letter C. Tentative. The correct answer is, letter C. We will make tentative designs for our house this week. Number 3. If you blank her, she will get mad. Verb. To cause to happen, usually a bad reaction. Letter A. Provoke. Letter B. Controversy. Letter C. Readily. The correct answer is, letter A. If you provoke her, she will get mad. Number 4. I was blanked by all the homework I had for the long weekend. Verb, to become too much to handle. Letter A. Provoke. Letter B. Overwhelm. Letter C. Readily. The correct answer is, letter B. I was overwhelmed by all the homework I had for the long weekend. Number 5. Mia was criticized for voicing her opinion regarding the blank. Noun, disagreement. Letter A. Overwhelm. Letter B. Controversy. Letter C. Provoke. The correct answer is, letter B. Mia was criticized for voicing her opinion regarding the controversy. Speaking section. Do you think it is important to encourage children to read books? Yes, it is important to encourage children to read books. Reading allows us to be transported from our own world to another. Between the pages of a book, we can become immersed in the lives of fictional characters and learn about a culture entirely different from our own. We can also learn new words and phrases, experience a range of emotions, and acquire skills and knowledge. Because of the learning potential, the effects of reading on child development are vast and multiple studies have highlighted its benefits. As such, teachers and parents are in a great position to ensure reading is a key part of children's daily routine. 
we'll give you some more information as to why this is so important and provide some tips that you can use both in and out of the classroom. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Visit us on onestepenglish.com.